Welcome, friends. We finally have that confirmation that Section 31, after all the rumors, all the speculation, all the hemming and hawing, is finally in production. Now, I'm going to go into this fairly quickly because there isn't too much to glean from this, but we see the first, I want to say, promo image. It's kind of a behind-the-scenes image, as you can see here. She's sharing a photo from the set, clearly dressed up as Empress Giorgio, and as you can probably tell, at least to me, maybe the photo is just added a little filter or something. She looks a little bit more made up than the last time we saw her, but I suppose that was supposed to be a more disheveled point in her life. And does the red light indicate that Control is back? Who's to say? Really interested to see what they do with this character who has not only hopped dimensions, but also timelines within alternate dimensions, and where the heck is she actually going to be landing and ending up in this movie event? Because as this isn't a show, the time that she ends up in is going to probably be a bit more important than it may have originally been when she was making a show. Perhaps the intention was to have her leaping all over, but here is what we get from this. Not really any sort of details on the show itself, but uh, production is officially underway now on the original movie event, Star Trek Section 31. So I suppose that is going to be the official title of it. So in Star Trek Section 31, Emperor Philippa Giorgio, the fan favorite character, first introduced in Discovery, joins a secret division of Starfleet, tasked with protecting the UFP, and she must also face the sins of her past. That's on the nose, probably what everyone was expecting. Nothing to really uh, figure out there. But what we really do get from this article is the rest of, I have to imagine, the main cast of both Section 31 and possibly the adversaries they're going up against or criminals throughout time or operatives from the Tal Shiar or some other agency, whatever they end up doing with this show, this appears to be the other main cast. And before I go into them, a bit interesting that a couple of the people supposedly rumored to be part of this from her stint in Section 31 in Discovery are absent from this. I'm not sure if that means they're not in the movie whatsoever, or if they're keeping them kind of a secret and they want to just kind of bring up this new cast of people. But who we see here, I'm going to go over a little bit uh, what I think you may know them from. Number one, we get Amari Hardwick, who is best known for power. I know I'm terrible. I should have watched that show, but I haven't. That is the primary thing you may know him from. Then we have Casey Roll from Hannibal and Flicka, but I also want to bring up Wayward Pines because people seem to forget that thing existed. Okay, Sam Richardson is probably the one that stood out the most to me from seeing him in various different things. I won't include Velma because that's not his fault. But the one that probably leaps out to me as something I've seen recently where he had a pretty prominent role is Hocus Pocus 2. But he's also fairly well known for Veep and Ted Lasso. Then we also have somebody, and forgive me, I'm going to butcher probably all of these names, but Sven Rygork who is a dynamic South African-born actor. Now, his most known role is apparently from uh, Spud, where he played Rambo, and something else from uh, Zulu. But the thing that really intrigued me with this character, or this actor, I should say, we don't know the character, is that he is trained as a national gymnast and was selected to perform for Cirque du Soleil while in high school. And I think that's probably going to come into play a heck of a lot more than maybe some of the other acting roles, especially since the lead in the show is such a distinguished martial artist with Michelle Yeoh. I think there's going to be some fairly dynamic acrobatics and fight scenes and choreography in the show. And I think that's probably what's going to lend this show a little bit more than an average type of Star Trek show could be. It's going to add that sort of element. At least that's what I'm hoping. I really hope they lean into that aspect of it because that seems to be where the strengths of at least some of these characters are coming from. Then we have Robert Kaczynski, who is from Pacific Rim, Warcraft, and if you're from that neck of the wood, I guessed EastEnders, but that's not my cup of tea, so that's not something I would know him from. Then we have Humberly Gonzalez from Utopia Falls, and something I just saw this year in the uh, the vast marathon of constant Christmas movies, Maps and Mistletoe. No idea why I saw that movie. No idea how that relates to this show or this movie whatsoever, but that's where I know this person from. And finally, we have James Hiroki Liao from Prison Break, from Prison Break, Prison Break, Battle Los Angeles, and a fairly good show that I don't think it's the recognition it deserves, but Barry, which just 
uh, I guess last year, finished up. So if you haven't seen Barry, definitely go check that out. Not sure why I'm plugging a show that I have nothing to do with in a Section 31 Star Trek video, but, but I can do what I want, I suppose. And that is generally... Most of the meat we get from this article, then it goes on to say all the stuff about how Alex Kurtzman is so enthusiastic, Michelle Yeoh is beyond thrilled about all of this stuff, and then it has the, the list of people that are working on it as far as executives, writers, directors, all of that stuff we kind of already knew. So there really isn't all that much to glean as far as the plot, the storyline, all of that stuff. What we do get is a good sense of who the cast is going to be in this show, at least the main players, without spoiling any possible returning people. And I have to imagine, since this is going to be a movie event, they're going to cram in some people they're not going to tell us about in the promos. Whether there's going to be a cameo by Michael Burnham somehow or anything like that, I don't know. But I have to imagine there's going to be at least three or four surprises they're not going to spoil right up front. I'm getting a little bit more excited about this as we learn more. Again, Section 31 is a concept I don't necessarily love, but it seems like they're heading in a pretty good direction with the cast. They're kind of leaning into their strengths as we go forward. This is going to be the first streaming only movie event we've really ever had for Star Trek, and I'm kind of cautiously optimistic, I guess that's the word, to see what that really does for the Star Trek brand. Will it pave the way forward? Will it be a, a misstep? Will it prove its concept and mean that we get more of these a couple per year or something like that? I don't know, but if that's the case, we'll just have to see. What do you think of this casting? What do you think of the fact that it's actually finally going into production after all of this turmoil and all of these woes and legal battles, sag after strikes, pandemics, all of that stuff? Leave all those thoughts down below. Like, share, subscribe, do all those YouTube things. But until next time, computer and program.